boys, girls, and all that's in between, is Spider-Man No Way Home bad because of its cinematography? And moreover, how important is cinematography to filmmaking? Come with me. See, Twitter likes to make big deals of things that probably don't matter as much as it's nearly made out to be. And recently, the new trend has been hating on Spider-Man No Way Home for its cinematography. And you see, to an extent, I agree. I mean, films are a visual medium, don't you know? They tell things through the visuals, and that helps alleviate the story. And some superhero films have incredible cinematography. I mean, just look at any of the Guardians of the Galaxy films, look at the Batman, look at the Suicide Squad. These films all have creative visuals that use and work with the medium well, and they help portray the story. And also, they just look cool. Things that look cool are great, right? And that's the main difference that movies have over books and plays and things, is that you see it move and happen in real time. It, things happen and change, and you see all that action. It's not described. So surely, it must be one of the most important elements to a film. Well, you'd be right. Film is incredibly visual, and thus the visuals themselves are actually very important. And yes, I do think that a movie with a $200 million budget or something, should absolutely take advantage of the budget that it is given and use it well. Like, if you look at The French Dispatch, that is a very low-budget movie compared to Spider-Man No Way Home. And look at the visuals in that movie. However, I also want to raise the point that visuals aren't everything in a movie. A movie isn't purely visual, and the most important aspect to any movie is actually the story that it tells and how it tells it. If it tells a good story in a good and effective way, the visuals can look worse. And I feel that's okay. And I feel that's something that Spider-Man No Way Home does effectively. Why is Spider-Man 2 raved about as the best superhero movie of all time? The best Spider-Man movie? The best blank? Even though its visuals are, honestly, okay. They aren't insane. They aren't wild. They aren't great. So why is it raved about? Because it does what it's supposed to do best. It tells a great and engaging story. And honestly, that's what a movie's meant to be. You're meant to get lost in this world and that you feel that you can really live there and be there because the story is so in-depth and engaging that it transports you there. That's the power of film. The power isn't cinematography looks pretty. The power is the story. And that's the most important thing. And frankly, sure, Spider-Man No Way Home doesn't have banger shot after banger shot. But it is all right. Do I wish a $200 million movie looked a bit better? Sure, yeah, of course. But I think it looks amazing still. There are so many great shots, especially right after Aunt May dies and he's standing on the building and he's looking at the big screen with J. Jonah Jameson ranting about him. That's an incredible shot. These movies aren't all good or bad. There's some bit of gray in them. Whether that's some good shots mixed with some bad, or some good shots mixed with the mediocre. Spider-Man No Way Home isn't a bad movie because it's a bad cinematography. In fact, I wouldn't even classify its cinematography as bad. It's pretty great. The main thing is just that it's a good movie. It tells a good and engaging story. Which I think is what a movie's meant to. So in summary, a film can look as good as you want it to. A film can look as bad as you want it to. That's okay. Because at the end of the day, these are stories that are meant to transport us to new and exciting places. And as long as they can do that, I think they're a success. And I think No Way Home is a pretty big success at that. So yeah, cinematography. It's important to film, no doubt. It's a big distinction between it and books. But at the same time, the most important thing at the end of the day is the story it tells and how that affects you. Well, that's about it. See you next time, I guess.